Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a custom set showcase. We did this recently with my friend CM4 Size and he did some Raimi Trilogy sets. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. It's linked at the top and at the end. But my friend Buzz Brick here, he created a ton of Spider-Man No Way Home sets and they are spoiler filled. So please do not watch this video if you haven't seen the movie yet. But he created some amazing sets and I actually asked if I could showcase them. So he sent over all of the pictures in high quality to share with you guys because really you need to check him out. He has just reached 16k subscribers on YouTube and he definitely deserves a lot more love and support. So please go check him out. Link down below in the description and there's chapters if you want to skip around to some of the different sets that he's created here. You can find them all linked down below. So let's go ahead and let's start here with this first set here. And this is titled Spider-Man's New Suit. And of course this is from the end of the movie. And he has this little poly bag of his apartment. And it's really adorable some of the things that he's created here. I really like uh, just the suit in general. It looks absolutely phenomenal as well as you can see here that he's even got like a little desk with the coffee from the coffee shop as well as like the sewing machine and also the Palpatine little minifigure there on the desk and also the phone there with like the I think it was like the police radio or whatever and then also some moving boxes in uh, as he's moving into this new apartment he also designed a minifigure accessory set here and uh, this is really cool. It's like meant to be the Midtown High. You've got uh, Andrew Garfield, Peter Parker there with the lab coat, which is really great, as well as like he's trying to make like the lizard cure. And then you've got the box there, which you'll we'll come back to as we go through. But the ring there from like a Doctor Strange portal, and then, and then having uh, Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker walk on through in his youth pastor outfit. And then you've also got uh, Ned there with the goggles, which is great. A little variant there, as you'll see as we go through. And then also we have Mr. Harrington there with uh, this sign, which is really, really funny. Um, and then we've also got a little bus there to the side, some trophies and things. And then also Flash's book, which I think is absolutely hilarious. The next small set here that we have to look at is actually called the Electro Showdown. And this is a really cool idea. I think I love this so much better than the drone that we got. But to get the black and gold suit there for Spider-Man, I, I really love that design and everything here. And uh, you could see like it's even got like the phone on the torso, which I think is really fun. And then you've also got, of course, Electro as well as Sandman included in here. And I love just like even like the poles build there and just even like the tree that, uh, you know, it could break in half. I really love the idea of this set. And I think that it's really something that Lego could do, but the figure designs here is really awesome. I we really need these villains really, really badly. And I've talked about this in so many other videos, but I, I think that, that like that's a great idea for a set. And uh, this next one here is something that a ton of people have done. And I think that it is a very great version. And I think that uh, Doc Ock's bridge battle here definitely needs to happen. I think it's like such an iconic scene. It's an iconic part of the trailer and the hype building up to this movie. So to have it here, I think would be really awesome if we did get this. I love some of the figures here that we actually have uh, with the Iron Spider. Like we definitely need a new Iron Spider with dual molded legs would be really awesome. Of course, also Peter Parker in that outfit would be really fun. And the MIT officer, I feel like she must have had a different name. But uh, anyways, we've got Doc Ock as well as Green Goblin. And the bridge itself is a really cool like little homage there as it like breaks open to the ultimate web warriors bridge battle and then we've also got like the george washington like huge uh sign there at the top which looks cool i love how like doc ock has just thrown stuff at peter as well as the green goblin glider is really cool as well and you've even got some little references there at the bottom with the mysterio poster there legoized which i think looks really cool again like these little easter eggs as you'll see as we go through here are just really really awesome to see the next set here that we are going to talk about is Green Goblin's Apartment Scare. And this is such a cool idea. I think a lot of people have been suggesting this as well to get some sort of apartment from Happy Hogan. And I think it would be really cool. And there's a lot of different things, as you can see here, that he's done. Maybe the figure choices and the amount is a little unrealistic, I think, for what LEGO would do. 
but it's still cool to see a lot of the characters here. So just to go through here, we have, uh, of course, Spider-Man, and you can see he's got the iconic like face there after Aunt May dies, and then Peter Parker in his uh, underwear there and the shirt, and everything's really cool. Matt Murdock, which would be absolutely insane to get a minifigure of. I would love that so, so much. We've got Aunt May there included as well. Happy Hogan, which is so much better than Lego's version. J. Jonah Jameson, absolute must, I feel like, in these sets. And we've even got, like, the homeless uh, Norman Osborn there, which is really cool. As well as the same Electro and Sandman as before. And the lizard figure here will appear in another uh, few sets, but looks really, really cool there. I love the design that he's created for him. But the apartment, honestly, like, I love how modern the outside looks. I think he did a really great job representing that. I think it definitely looks like the apartment. On the outside as well, you've got a few little references here on the outside, which I really love. Like the Rogers, the musical poster there is awesome, as well as just having like the actual alleyway there with the Green Goblin mask being thrown there, as well as, uh, you know, I, I like to have, always see these rats, and any time that it appears in a Marvel set, I we automatically jump to it's the rat that saves uh, the day in Endgame. Also, on the other side, you can see we've got some more little graffiti and some posters there with Fire Hydrant, which I think is really cool. And the rest of like the set is really crazy. Looking at the interior here, there's this little kitchen area where Sandman's sitting down. Uh, as well as you can see, like there's a Daily Bugle screen as well. And then you've got like a huge sandwich there or a burger. It's burger, you know, reference to Happy and, you know, getting getting Tony all the burgers and then in the right there on the other side of the room you could see he's got the table there with the Lego Death Star which is such a cool uh, looking uh, build there with the print looks awesome on the outside of the building there's also a daily bugle like reporting there coming from J. Jonah Jameson which is a really cool six by six print there or, or I guess it's a sticker but uh, really cool ties into the daily bugle set itself as well which I really love there's actually a room here with Peter sleeping on the floor as well as like a bunch of boxes because he's moving in with also he could see like he's holding the letter from the different universities like being declined he's also got some alternate shirts there for Peter Parker which I think is really fun with his midtown high shirt as well as physics is theoretical uh, I, I think that's a really cute shirt there and to include you could see that there's like the machine that's making the cure and I love that there I think that looks really awesome with Norman with next to the machine and with the, the cure I think that looks great and also included is actually the feast truck and then here we have the Sanctum Sanctorum, and if you know, this is something that I've been working on myself, actually creating a modular version of this, which I hope to share soon, maybe, I, I don't know, I keep putting it off, but anyways, it's really cool, it's four stories, and I think we really need this set, just also for Multiverse of Madness, but also like it would work as a No Way Home set as well. But it looks so great. I love how he's taken like the original model. He's created it on like this corner, but it's like so much better, so much more detailed. Oh my goodness, like I can't even put into words all the detail here that's going on. It is really, really cool. I'm so impressed by the detail here. Like the outside is just absolutely insane. But uh, let's go through the figures because I really love some of the figures here that he's created. Uh, so we've got Spider-Man there in that regular suit. We have Wong included as well as Doctor Strange in a more accurate outfit to the one that we actually see in the Sanctum. You know, this should have been the one in the workshop, I think. We've got Peter Parker there in a great looking outfit. MJ using the hidden side hair and hat combo which looks like it's just so perfect ned as well as dr octopus and then you've also got their green goblin as well as the lizard so i think that's really cool really great minifigure selection but even some of the play features here on the outside you can see we've got the different portals and everything which looks great like looking here at this portal you could see spider-man like trying to escape doctor strange and then you've got him holding that box which is really really cool bottom floor here you could see the entrance you've got Wong leaving as well as a couch there and just like different you've got the fireplace to the right and everything as well as uh, strange complete with his little 
Fox mug and going up the stairs here into the library you could see just different things like you've got them reading the uh, Ten Rings there from Shang-Chi, which is awesome. You've got so many different things going on here, like in this library section. And I The next level up actually features the workshop, which, you know, it's hard. It's like underground, but how would you put that in the mod in like a building like this? And I think it works really well. I love everything that's going on here with like the board, I think looks really great. And then up above on the final level, we actually have what he calls Strange's study and I think it looks great with the spot to have the cloak of levitation as well as a chair and everything and even like a table very reminiscent to the very first sanctum or no the sanctum actually from infinity war is where that table sort of build is from and I love the window there as well and how he's changed that I think that looks really really great and then very lastly here we have the set that everyone is wanting which is called the spider-man liberty showdown and this is really awesome i think that this looks so so great and honestly like this is the set that everyone is wanting this is the number one set i think that of anything this is what people want to see i love how it's taken inspiration here from the harry and hermione buildable figures i think that is definitely the way to go if lego were to do that and I just like, I, I think the build of it is really fantastic and how you could see that it's still like a minifigure version of it. I think that looks really, really cool. And then as you go through here, of course, he's also got like so many different things. He's got this huge sand fist for Sandman with a new Sandman variant, which is cool to see in this set, as well as just the rest of like the construction there. I love just all the scaffolding and everything. I think that looks really great and it works well with all of the different strange portals as well included. And then, of course, how can we not talk about the minifigures here included in the set? Uh, where there's so many to go through here. So we've got, of course, Spider-Man in the integrated suit. And then you've also got the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, which looks awesome, as well as the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. We also have included MJ falling, which is really cool. And then you've even got Ned with the cape which is really fun, as well as Doctor Strange included, as well as Sandman, like you saw before, and then Electro, as well as Green Goblin, which looks so phenomenal there with the scarf and even the hair. I think looks really, really awesome. So there's also a plaque included here, which I think is a really nice touch for a large set like this, and it reads, With great power, there must also come great responsibility may parker so i think that's a really touching little thing there to include i really love that overall i don't think it's necessarily the most realistic wave in terms of like some of the figures and stuff that are throughout all this and just like three goblin gliders and stuff like that but nonetheless i think he has done a phenomenal absolutely phenomenal job giving us like different ideas for sets that i know a lot of people are wanting and hoping to get in the future i really hope that uh, lego see some of these things especially since you know i'm sure they're working on this now because uh you can check out all the other videos that i've talked about when it comes to no way home it's just other toy companies and lego they just didn't have access to the spoilers and that's on sony and disney and i hope that uh we can see stuff soon just like some of the things here i think is really really cool so fingers crossed for that again thank you so much buzz please go check him out link down below in the description go give him some love he's done so many other custom sets and he's got so much more to come out very very soon so stay tuned for that but anyways everyone hope you guys did enjoy the video and i hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one